everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Injustice 2 Hot Pursuit Flash. This is basically a repaint from the Injustice 2 Flash they released a few months ago. This guy looks pretty cool. He's in a white outfit. I would assume it's a variation of his skin you could use in the game. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging here. As you can see at the top, 22 moving parts. McFarlane Toys, got the Spawn logo there, ages 12 plus, DC Multiverse, the Flash Hot Pursuit, here he is in the package, he's got some Speed Force effects, a Speed Force sort of projectile, display stand and collector's card, one side of the package, the Flash Hot Pursuit from Injustice 2, other side simply says the Flash Hot Pursuit, the bottom, there's a bunch of credits and there is a barcode, in case that helps anybody. And the back side, here's his Flash running. And here are a bunch of other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures you should check out. So no further ado, let's open him up. All right, now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He does come with a display stand, a collector's card, and then three Speed Force effects, two of which will go onto his armor leg, and one of which is sort of a Speed Force projectile or bomb. But before we take a look at the accessories, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is Flash from Injustice 2. His real name is Barry Allen. He's in his white variant Hot Pursuit skin. So let's take a look at him. Start with his face here. Looks a little odd, just that sort of white color scheme. I mean, it's visually very pleasing, but something about his mouth and the mask just looks a little weird. Eyes, kind of dark. Got the lightning bolts here. They're made of silver. Of course, he's got the Flash logo in the middle of his chest. Now his suit is very nice. You can see the different texture on the different parts here in the gray. Then in the white, it's pretty smooth. And in the black here, almost like it's Kevlar material. Very well done. The detail is excellent on this guy. Looks like double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, more lightning bolts here. I do prefer the red version, it's a little more normal looking. But this guy's a very cool variant. And just a closer look at his face. The sculpt is excellent on both the mask and the chin, but something's just a little bit off. He looks a little bit too serious, kind of dark, kind of grizzled, kind of mean. The chin looks a little more like Batman to me than Barry Allen. Tell me what you guys think. Now let's look at his accessories, and let's start with the boring stuff. We've got his display stand, two point McFarland stand, Black perfect circle, says DC at the bottom, one peg for the peggles on his feet, very thin, very basic. Here's a look at his collector's card. As you can see, we've got the figure in a running pose. The Flash Hot Pursuit from Injustice 2. On the back side, there's a little description. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause now. And here's the Hot Pursuit Flashes Collector's Card, next to the original Injustice 2 Flashes Collector's Card. Now let's look at the Speed Force effects. The one at the top is sort of a projectile, and the two at the bottom are just some sort of speed effects behind his legs and arms. It's made of sort of a rubbery material, it's got a lot of give to it, a lot of bend. It's semi-transparent, with an orange or yellow tint to it. You can see it all sort of wrap around his arms here. Looks pretty good. Here's Flash with none of the effects on, and here with the leg piece attached, then with the arm piece attached as well. Both these pieces were at work on either the right or the left legs and arms. Here's Flash in a running pose with both the Speed Force accessories attached. Here's Flash holding the Speed Force projectile. This is something he used in the game. There are a wide variety of ways he can hold this thing. Here it is sort of coming off his hand. You've got the Speed Force effect going all the way up his arm. And here's Flash with all of the Speed Force accessories attached at the same time. And since I have both the red suit and white suit version of the Injustice Flash, I've got two sets of Speed Force effects. I'm able to put one on both legs and both arms. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and its accessories, now let's check out his height from bottom to the top of his head. Sitting at about 7.1 inches tall, which can translate to about 18 centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Starting with his head here, of course, it can rotate from side to side. 
You can look up about that far, down about that much. Pretty nice. You can get him some pretty good running poses with a setup like that. You can tilt his head from one side to the other. Give him a good amount of personality. Shoulders on a ball joint. It goes at more than 90 degrees. Up, down, around, all that good stuff. He does have a butterfly joint between his shoulder and chest area. Just increasing the range of motion there. Bicep cut below that. Double jointed elbows below that. His wrist. It can rotate. And it's going to be hinged as well. Double ball joints in his torso waist area. It can rotate around. Go forward and back. His waist can also rotate around. Go forward and back. Giving him a pretty good range of motion. His torso there. Legs. Completely does the splits. Not a ball joint, but a similar type idea. Rotation. Pretty minimal. And then go forward about that far. And back. Really not too much. Double jointed knees below that. Then his ankle here, go forward and back, can rotate, can tilt and rock, and he has two articulation. Now let's take a look at him next to the original Injustice 2 Flash figure. He's in his iconic red suit. There are absolutely no sculpted differences between the two guys. I prefer the red version, just because that's a standard Flash look, but I'm going to say the white one does look a little bit better. Tell me what you guys think. They're both very nice figures. He has that sort of older, meaner sort of look to him. They both have that. Just part of the sculpt. Go further down. The suits look very nice, both of them. Visually, I feel like this guy's more pleasing, but this guy's more iconic, so I prefer him. You can see the detail. It just comes out so good, the sculpt there. You can see it a little better on the gray than the red. Just very nicely done. Two really solid figures, if you ask me. Here's Flash, running through the streets of Central City. He heard his arch nemesis, Gorilla Grodd, is nearby. And then a closer look at Flash running, wearing both sets of Speed Force effects. And you can see Flash arriving and jungle on the outskirts of Central City, approaching Gorilla Grodd. The Flash approaches Gorilla Grodd and confronts him about his most recent nefarious scheme. Some of Grodd's Gorilla soldiers comes out. Flash is getting a little nervous. The Flash now realizes he is completely surrounded. And the Flash quickly jumps into action, hops into the Speed Force. The Flash quickly, no pun intended, takes care of Gorilla Grodd and all of his Gorilla troops. Now let's check him out next to some other action figures, starting off with some other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to the original Injustice 2 Red Suit Flash. Here's the Flash next to Gorilla Grodd. Both variations of both characters. Now it's kind of interesting how both variations came about. If I were to see this a year ago, I would have assumed that Red Flash and Gold Gorilla Grodd were the regular releases, and that Silver Grodd and White Flash were the Platinum Chase variants. Not exactly how this went down. These two are most certainly the regular releases. This guy was the Platinum Chase variant in the original wave, but he's just a regular variant, not a Platinum Chase variant. If you want a White Flash, you should have really no problem getting one. Add Dr. Fate to the mix, and this is the entire McFarland DC Multiverse Injustice Collection. I still need to track down the Platinum Chase variant of Dr. Fate, and I really do hope they make some more Injustice characters down the road, especially with the upcoming Injustice animated film. Might give some more exposure, and give McFarland a reason to make some more Injustice characters. I would love to see a Batman, among other things. And here's Flash, with the rest of the video game characters that McFarland has made. We've got Batman and Joker from Arkham Asylum, Batman from Arkham Knight, and Deathstroke from Arkham Origins. There are some upcoming Gotham Knights figures from the upcoming video game. I believe they're going to make the four heroes. Nightwing, Red Hood, Robin, and Batgirl. And those Arkham figures weren't without their variants. We had a Platinum Chase edition of each of the four figures. And we also had a tightened up, mudded up, damaged version of Arkham Asylum, Batman, and Joker. Here are all the Flash figures McFarland has made in their DC Multiverse line. They're all Barry Allen. We've got the Rebirth Flash, Injustice 2 Flash, and then the Zack Snyder's Justice League Movie Flash. The next rumored Flash figure is going to be a variation of the Zack Snyder's Justice League Flash. It's a New York Comic Con exclusive Speed Force Flash. I'm assuming it's going to be the same figure, just with some Speed Force effects painted and attached. And if you add both the regular and gold versions of Red Death, these are all the different Speed Force characters McFarland has made so far. 
There is an upcoming reverse flash, and he looks great. Here he is, next to a bunch of different DC heroes from all different various areas of the multiverse, such as Injustice, the Arrow TV show, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and the Rebirth comics. Then, next to a bunch of other recently released McFarland DC multiverse figures. Now let's check him out, next to some other Injustice figures. Here he is, with the entire collection of McFarlane DC Multiverse and Justice figures. And here he is, next to Storm Collectibles and Justice Bane. This Bane towers over this Flash, but he's actually 7 inch scale, and he should fit in good with McFarlane figures. Then, next to some Mattel and Justice figures. And here he is, next to some SH figure arts and Justice figures. Here's my entire 6 and 7 inch Injustice action figure collection. And here he is, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles Flash figures. Then, next to a Noble Toys Bendy figure Flash. And here, next to all of my Mattel Flash figures. Here is my entire collection of 6 and 7 inch Flash action figures. Now let's check him out, next to some other Speed Force characters I have figures of. Here he is, with both a DC Direct and Mattel Zoom. And here, next to a Mattel Reverse Flash. Then, Next to both the Mattel and DC Direct version of Kid Flash. Now let's check him out. Next to some action figures from different various companies to see how he fits in both scale and style wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix him with. Since he's a McFarland figure, they're typically the 7 inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the large action figure lines I collect and work my smaller. Here he is with some of his McFarland Toys brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all for McFarland Toys all 7 inch scale, all from different various video game properties. Then, next to some more McFarland figures. And now, next to some Jax Pacific wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And here, next to some NECA figures. Then, next to some Mattel wrestling figures. And now, Next to some Jazzwares AEW wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some Mezco 112 cloth soft goods action figures. Then, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here, next to some Mafex figures. Then, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH figure arts action figures. And finally, next to some Jazzwares Fortnite figures. Overall, this is a very nice figure. I must say, I do prefer the red suit version of Flash, so I prefer the other figure to this one, but I think this one is more visually pleasing. He just looks a little bit better. The details come out better with his paint job. His sculpt and paint job are excellent. He has so much different texture on different parts of the suit. Some of it looks like honeycombs, some of it looks like Kevlar, some of it is smooth. Very well done. His articulation is everything you expect from a McFarland DC Multiverse figure. His accessories are great, and now that I have both Flash figures, I can double up on the Speed Force accessories. If I were to rate this guy, I'm going to give him a solid 7 out of 10. Enjoying this figure, he looks great. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press the like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.